This video is probably going to be pretty short and simple, but that's kind of my goal because this is simply a question that I get asked all the time and I didn't really know the answer for a bit. So today I wanted to talk about whether you can re-freeze frozen thawed mice and rats. So ideally, you're going to be feeding your snake frozen mice and rats compared to live. There's a lot of people that say live is more beneficial, but I disagree with them completely. Uh, mostly because one, it is less humane on the rat or a mouse. Two, it's more dangerous to the snake because there is a risk of it fighting back or biting the animal. And three, because it's more expensive. People will argue that live is better because it's more natural. It keeps the snake more interested. The snake enjoys it more. Uh, a bunch of random things that doesn't make any sense. We can argue about that later. What we're focusing on today is whether you can reuse and refreeze, rethaw, whatever you want to say, frozen mice and rats if your snake doesn't eat it, if you thaw it too many, thaw it the wrong size, whatever, or if you just have to throw the mouse or rat away and waste it, which is unfortunate because it's a living animal, even if you don't care about them as much as your snake or a person. It's still a living animal, you don't want to waste a body, it's kind of weird. But unfortunately, the very short answer to this question, if you don't want to watch the video, is don't refreeze them. Now, I've tried it many times because I was really adamant on figuring it out, and I've tried many different kind of ways and different amounts of time. Because back in the day, if one of my snakes would not eat, I would uh, end up leaving the mouse or rat in the enclosure and then hope that it takes it overnight, which sometimes it would, oftentimes it would not. It's it's worth a try if your snake is not eating. I have a couple videos all about snakes not eating and what you can do to attempt to, to get them on feed. But either way, uh, I would leave the mouse overnight. If they did not eat it, then I would take it out. And a couple times I tried refreezing it then, and immediately it was just disgusting. This was a mouse or rat that was sitting in an enclosure for hours and hours overnight, and it simply rotted way too much to even potentially use, so I immediately just stopped trying to do that. And then I tried to do the same, but immediately after I tried to offer the mouse. For example, I thaw it out, I offer it to the snake, the snake doesn't eat it, immediately I refreeze it. This meant that it was only thawed out for at most like 15 or 20 minutes, uh, but when I thawed it back out, it would just have this weird smell to it. And I tried this probably a dozen times or so, and no matter where I bought the rat, no matter how long it was thawed out, it was still just really bad. And then I had to move homes a couple times, and there was a point where the fridge or freezer was unplugged, either because of the move or just by accident, and there would be a pack of rats that wouldn't even actually thaw out. I guess they would kind of thaw out. They would lose that solidity of like being frozen, but they would still be very cold. And I even tried to refreeze these packs to not waste an entire like 25 or 50 pack of rodents, but unfortunately, I couldn't use them. They smelled disgusting. It was awful. So basically, even just refrigerating a mouse or rat and trying to refreeze it afterwards and then thawing and using it again was just still not an option. It smelled just off. There was more of a dead scent to it. And I even sorted through some to find those that didn't have as strong of a scent and offered it just to see what the snake would think and none of them ever took them. I probably could get like a really hungry lizard or turtle to eat it or something, but there is going to be that hazard because there is more time for bacteria to grow and develop inside the rodent. So basically I tried everything from leaving it out for hours and hours, refreezing it and then trying it, and even just refrigerating the mouse for a few hours, refreezing it, thawing it out and trying it. And even that was just super gross. So unfortunately my conclusion of about a year of testing different times and different temperatures of freezing and thawing and everything um there's just no hope originally my first thoughts was like maybe if there were no punctures no bleeding no wounds on the rodent they'd be able to freeze it thaw it out and use it one more time but it seems like this is not at all the case and essentially it being frozen more than once is just bad. If you have a live mouse, you ended up killing it and freezing it and thawing it out. You could use that as long as there was no wounds, bleeding, whatever, punctures. But it appears that the fact that it's thawed out more than once is the problem, no matter how much time there is. So no reason to extend this video any longer than it needs to be. Uh, that's, that's the answer. My suggestion is do not use the rat. You unfortunately have to throw it away. It is kind of a waste, but it's better than feeding your animal something that might make it sick or just not even take it in the first place. Save your freezer, just don't put gross left out rodents in there. My recommendation if you have multiple snakes is only thaw out maybe half or two thirds of what you need. And then if everything is taken, thaw out a few more for the rest. Don't thaw out everything that you need up front because then you're gonna have a bunch left over because then if even a single snake doesn't eat, you're gonna have to waste some rodents. Ideally, your entire snake room is going to have every snake taking every single time. Uh, but it's kind of rare for that to happen. Usually there's at least one or two that are kind of weird. Um, when there's like 20 or 30 in the room, that's, that's kind of just how it is. 
And then if you have one snake, you just might have to waste some rodents, which is not the worst thing on earth and it's part of snake keeping. So let me know if you've tried to refreeze, if it's worked for you, if I may be missing something, but I kind of doubt I am because I've tried a lot of stuff. What do you like? Leave your opinion in the comment on refreezing r mice and rats. This video was maybe kind of boring, very simple. Just wanted to get my thoughts out there on whether you can refreeze. Hopefully it helped. If you're looking for an animal, this is Gobi, my personal corn snake, but you can go to emeraldscales.com and see what animals are available for sale. $45 overnight shipping to almost anywhere in the USA. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. We also rehome animals if you need something rehomed. If you have an ill animal you can't cure, we like to try and work with those and figure stuff out. So there we go. Thank you to the members for letting me kind of start to get on a schedule. That extra income that I'm getting means I can open up more time, put more projects aside, and focus less on the money making and more on the content creation. So I really appreciate it. Thank you to those that have your name on the screen. Oh yeah. Uh, more interesting videos are on the way. Uh, there should be some cool ones coming shortly. So that's it. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.